So we're starting out at Second Salem in Whitewater, Wisconsin, and we're going to go by the bar where um, one of the students was at the night he disappeared and fell into the quarry. You can go ahead and turn around the... Um, two deaths happen within 14 months of each other in Whitewater. They're covered in David Politis' book, Missing 411. A sobering coincidence. These disappearances were strange and we're going to show you why because of how desolate it is and how far these boys walked. You know, it's up a little farther. Okay. I think it's the next block. And show you why I don't believe. Right here, stop. So it's called Cheap Shots now. But at the time it was a hawk's nest. Now I want you to watch how far we go out of town. He left here and he went the opposite direction out of town instead of going home, which was very nearby. So just watch where we go and tell me a boy with a 0.10 alcohol level would walk all this way out of town and out to the rock quarry and jump over the side or fall. And you'll be amazed at what they supposedly walk through to get to the far side of the quarry. Where they lead or which I don't believe. And make up your own minds if you think these boys did this. Because I'm telling you there's an easier way to get into the quarry. Okay, we're at the bridge, so this is running along Lake Cravath. Could you put it in park? Yes. Or Cravath Lake. And on the one side is the lake over here. Over on this side. Let me get my flashlight. I look down that street and tell me those boys walked all that way. And on this side, there's the creek that comes off the lake. 
This area is spooky as hell. I don't even like to be out here. So there's the creek down in here. So they walk past this. And on the other side are marshes. Marshes all out in there. UFOs have been seen out here. Bigfoot, dogman, flying man bats, and UFOs. And we've seen the UFOs ourselves. Six weeks in a row back in 2012. Now look down the road there and tell me those boys walked down that road. We're going to continue down the road where they walked, supposedly. And the lights on the building over there are the lights for the quarry. And I'm going to show you where they could have gotten in if they really wanted to, the easiest way. And then I'm going to show you the way they supposedly really went in, which I don't believe at all. So follow us out there. And we'll take you to the front gate where it would have made more sense if somebody wanted to commit suicide or just look around. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, because there's the path they took on the left. Oh, that fence I could climb over. No kidding, you were right. So let me show you the fence they could have climbed over. And gotten into the quarry anywhere they wanted. Look at this area out here. Pitch darkness. There's nothing out here but woods and marshes. There's one of the highways running over the top. But look at this, this quarry. Look at this fence that they could have climbed over. It's chest height for me. And then they're down, just down that road and you could get into the quarry. So why wouldn't they go this way if they really wanted in here? And why would they want in here? If you wanted to commit suicide, you could do it from this end. Go over the fence, get into the quarry, just fall. If you were out here to party, there was no one out here. Cause I'll show you the woods where they went in. And I'll tell you that they were on the far Northeast side of this quarry, which is blocks away where they supposedly climbed through the woods over here on the left and trudged through all that thicket and brush and heavy weeds that I cannot even get through and all the way out to the far end of the quarry where they both fell in at the same spot. How does that happen 14 months apart? How do two young men end up in the same quarry in the same spot dead 14 months apart? after walking out of town over a mile out of their way. I'm telling you it didn't happen that way. And the police are giving the families a bullshit story. Okay, we're gonna go to the spot where they had to have walked. Tell you it creeps me out being out here. Now it's just a head up here on the left where they supposedly walked down this gravel grassy road. There's some kind of electrical building out here. And then kept walking way to the far end. This isn't it. Keep going just sure? a little bit. Oh, I thought we drove through there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, it's a little oh, bit farther gosh. down past the, the evergreens. Oh, gotcha. Okay, not even this one. Okay, slow down. Oh, 
let's see. I think, or is it on the other side of that building? Let me see. Yeah. No, we passed it. So can you just back up a little? So there's supposed to be no trespassing back here, but we've been back in here. And if you watch my other two videos on this case, we were out here in the daytime. And you can see what we were trying to climb through to get to the back of the quarry. Now, we're talking the opposite end of the quarry, when if you wanted to commit suicide, if you wanted to commit suicide, why is my not light barely working? Yeah. If you wanted to commit suicide, you'd go over the fence and do it the easy way. Yeah, you wouldn't way. have walked all the way down there. Okay, hold on one second. Wait, I was gonna see, I can see tracks through here, that's why. Oh, okay, yeah. I think that was it. Let me pull off. Okay. To the side here. position in front of that. They had no flashlight. You can't even see going back here. Yeah, even we're having a hard time finding this Yeah, path. we're having a hard time finding the path and on top is. of it. And there's a barbed wire fence around the, the quarry anyway that they would have had to climb over. So it's not like they just accidentally fell in because the quarry is ringed by woods and brush. Heavy brush that you can't crawl through. You can't see my light down there, but... It goes far, far back into those woods back there. And you can see it on my videos that we took during the daytime and see the area. And we only went part way because we couldn't get through the brush and the thicket back in there. So why wouldn't you just go this way and go over the fence instead of climbing through, drunk kids climbing through this? There's no way. Because there's a path here, yes, but pretty soon it turns into just a thicket of brush and, and weeds and brambles and um, prickers and everything that you can't climb through. So you don't tell me those boys climbed through all that to get to that other end way down there and then fell or jumped in. It makes no sense whatsoever. And for the police to tell the families that and to write these deaths off is ridiculous because within just a few miles is another area of high strangeness where we've seen everything from, I said before, Bigfoot, Dogman, Dogman right down the road, um, and UFOs. So I don't know what happened to those boys, but I'm telling you what didn't happen was they didn't climb through this thicket down here and go all the way to, you know how big a quarry is they went all the way to the opposite end of the quarry from here there's no way that happened not at 1 30 in the morning or whatever it was so i just wanted to show you the proof that david's right in his missing 411 books